better to take a fall than to take a fall am i mm, right yeah to the pits yeah pits of hell <laughs> <laughs> Hello! And welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast, where we are very serious all the time. Yeah. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Mr. Zip. That's not a person. You can call me Zippy. Okay. And this here is Frank, um, wearing, really just stealing the show with his vibrant colors. I know. I think he dressed for Friday. Well, it is Thursday, and he starts Friday a little bit early. True. Um, he's already waiting for Fun Friday, but that's not today. What's up? Mr. Zip is a person. Is it? The reason I said it in a scared way. <laughs> Looks like you have a, like a raccoon on your head. Why is it so fluffy? I'm Russian. Oh, Ruski. Yes. Is that insultive? I don't know. I'll take it out. <laughs> okay. I wonder. You could check it out. Yeah. Um, uh, a reason I was, I was trepidatious is because I thought maybe I had used it before. Because you keep catching me on that. Mr. Zip? Yeah. Oh, no, I've never heard it before. I was just worried that I wouldn't be able to pull a picture out. Cause... You can pull a picture up because he is the zip code mascot for the post office. Oh. And when I grew up, I would see him in the post office. They'd have like these big wooden cardboard. At that time, it was wooden. Not... I said wooden cardboard. Wooden cutouts. Um, And he was like, he had a mailbag and he was Mr. Zip. Okay. We called him Zippy. I never called him Mr. Zip. Why were you calling him anything? Okay. It was a campaign. Uh, so he'd be out in town. But no. campaign for what? <laughs> to promote zip codes? Yes. Good job. So <laughs> so um, I didn't know when, but when I, I did look it up and it, here it came out in the 60s. I was born in the 70s, but I guess it was, I was still seeing it. Yeah. Okay. So... The United States is very reluctant to do things to make life yeah. easier. <laughs> like the metric system. Right. Um, so they had, they didn't always have zip codes, I guess. Oh. Um, and so then they were like, you need to put the zip codes on the letter. Yeah. And um, people were like, nah. It's not happening. It's not happening. And the, and the mail would get there. So the problem is, if something uh, is working without me doing it, why would I do it? Yeah. So Zippy, um, they were- He made zip codes fun. <laughs> they were literally trying to appeal to the children. They knew oh. they knew it was childish, but they thought, these people are going to grow up and yeah. maybe they'll do it. And so I guess you still know him. I knew his- <laughs> Campaign worked and we all use zip codes. And, and yeah. And it was only the five- it was only five digits. Oh, uh, yeah. Now it's like a dash something. Yeah, but now even, you have I to even do know the additional. Um, I was in Colorado. Um, I was on Pearl Street. And if you've ever been to Colorado or Pearl Street, it's a lot of street performers. Just imagine any little. Yeah, like Spain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, one of this, this one guy, he, uh, you know, how, like sometimes even if they're just like mind guys, they can like he was juggling and stuff. Mm-hmm. But his thing is. Any zip code, he knew where you were from. No. And, like, like, and this is not big cities. Like, my friend Hannah was with no. me. And she raised, raised her hand. I'm too real. I didn't want to. I'm like. Yeah. I don't want to. I, 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 was, I was taking everyone else's word for it. He'd say like. I don't want him to get it wrong and then I'll feel bad. And when I tell you exactly, he said, I'm going to bleep this out so you don't know where I live. He said. No, you're lying. Yeah. She, well, she said one nine. How was she doing? How? How did he do that? There's I, too I many. don't know. But then the, it, it got crazier, guys. The craziest part is, um, he had. You know how they have like they rope off like this is where I am. Yeah. It was in the shape of the United States. Oh. Then he picked twenty people out of the crowd, and said, "Um, what's your zip code?" And then he put them in a in a place in a, like where the state would be. Generally, you're here. You're here. Once all twenty people were standing, he started telling the story. He said, "Well, this guy came from." you know uh run a mead uh drove down and, like and he, i don't get he, it how did he do it he re- he recited so not only did he know every zip code he then recited back after putting 20 people it took like f- five minutes where each one is from how so, I, I, he had the memory of of uh, Sol- That's not solomon memory. himself how did he know th- like Memory means he was told. Okay, well, a couple of things. First of all, he obviously had an amazing memory because yeah. the, the on-the-spot memory was when he had 20 people and he recited it. Beyond that, the zip codes, I'm going to guess two things. Okay. One, I do think memory. I think he, he learned them all. 
But also, I am going to say there's more of a code to the zip code than we know. Yeah, and, I, I can I can understand that. And and so I I think yes, he memorized them all, but also helps when you know one nine zero is a southeastern um, Pennsylvania, right. and then his his photographic memory goes, and then he can see zoom in, and then he remembers. Okay, I know that one is from there. Yeah, because I know one nine one is Philadelphia. Yeah, and then the last two numbers are going to be specifically yes. in Philadelphia. But he knew specifically. It was not you're from Pennsylvania. Right. You're, you're from the greater Philadelphia area. It was, I know what street you live Oh, my on. gosh. It was the most impressive. I'm not usually impressed by street performers. I am pretty impressed when they do, like, soccer tricks. But this was, like, you, sir, sold your soul to the devil, maybe. I wonder. I wonder. I was thinking that about Simone Biles. I don't know if this can make it into the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is making it in. This is Thursday. This is Thursday tea. <laughs> So Moon Miles sold okay. her soul to the devil. No, she didn't. And he took away. That's why she didn't go forward. I think she was offered a deal. Oh. When you see her doing that last performance, mm-hmm. you see she's real She's real nervous in her face. Yeah. And, and it was very unusual. Okay. And she was like, it, it was like she was, she, she was like, what should I do? What should I do? And then she runs and she flips. She, she kind of scoot with cock. And then she... <laughs> And then she says, I'm not doing it. And I think, I think you can get yourself, I don't know. Yeah, this is like I said. Yeah, this, guy, this is between this us. This is Illuminati. This is between us. Don't tell anyone what we're talking about here. <laughs> I think that like you can get yourself to a famous place. And then whenever all the, all the people like say like, oh, Illuminati stuff like this. Yeah. Or people start to go weird or start to go. I think, I think that's when you're approached. You're not approached like when you're working, you know, mm. when you're just working at the toll booth. You're, it's like they go for the best and the brightest. And then they say, you want to be bigger and brighter? Mm. And I think she was like, no. And then it was on her mind that now she, has, then, now she has eyes on her at very high places, or should I say very low places. Yeah. And I think it's very- Is re- there tinfoil under your hair? <laughs> <laughs> I think, she, I think she, very rarely do they say no. And that's why we were all shocked. Mm. And we're like, what? And and she's not lying when she said she had mental- Mental- uh, Decision to make. Hey, guys, we don't have all the answers, but we have some. This will be cut out. No, it won't. Because I feel like as I go on in my <laughs> professional career journey, this is just going to be the one thing that they're like. No, it's staying then. <laughs> um, <laughs> just no, it's just a theory, guys. Just one theory. Just a Thursday every, theory. Every, it's a Thursday. Everyone has their own theories. And every Thursday, I'll have another one. <laughs> every Yeah. Uh, Thursday conspiracies with Kirk Cro- Cro- and Crow conspiracies. A whole, a whole new we'll, branch. We'll, we'll have shirts. They'll say Crow and Crow conspiracies. A whole new branch. A whole new branch. Um, but like, Simone, good job. Good job. <laughs> I'm not saying you made the right choice, but you made the right choice. <laughs> it's better to take a fall than to take a fall, am I mm, right? Yeah. To the pits. Yeah. Pits of hell. <laughs> Cherry pits. <laughs> oh, man. That's enough conspiracies for one day. It's hurting my head. Um, Anything else happen? I went to Quizzo last night. I said, I told your brother, you went to Quizzo, and he was like, for a sandwich? Was, he, wait, is that what that place is called? Quizno. Quizno. <laughs> uh, that's it. <laughs> um, no, I went to Quizzo. If you don't know Quizzo, you go to a community spot, and it's a quiz game. Trivia night. It's a trivia, it's a trivia night. And um, I did. How did you do? How um, do you do? I may have gotten last place. That's why he's hiding his face today. Yeah. He's just embarrassed, he's embarrassed to be part of this. I let Kirk and Crow down. Guys, it was all movie questions. I don't watch movies You're busy. Much. No, okay. Here's the thing. I do watch a lot of movies. If they said movie trivia, I'd be okay. It was that- Specific. The director name, the actor name. I know. The one that- There's only one that I knew, and I just couldn't think of it. It was who played um, Freddie Mercury, and I, I know him. I know oh. him. His name is like Malik or- I don't even know. Ma- See, I still don't know it, but it's like, I'm looking at like everyone else. It was like, I wrote on the page, like, mm-hmm. I don't even own a TV. But for that one, it's Remy Malik. Oh. I got it. I got, <laughs> I got a quizzo point 24 Call hours the guy. Call the guy. Yeah. Um, whatever. If it was, if it was religious questions, I probably would have gotten half of them right. Loose facts. I know. I feel that I want to play, but then again, I- I've done very poorly at Trivial Pursuit. 
Yeah. I never know what I know. <laughs> Here's my thing. Not to not this isn't bitter Spencer saying because he lost. There's a certain type of person that's good at those kind of things. And I don't want to be one of them. Rubik's like, Cube people. Yeah, Rubik's Cube people. Like, okay. Okay, buddy. You want Quizzo? I just saw a guy juggling Rubik's Cubes. I think it was three. And, and doing them? And, and solving them. I, it so frustrates like, when, when it was in his hand, he would. It frustrates. It frustrates me so much. Yeah. Seeing what the evolution of the Rubik's Cube things. Yeah. When I will never even understand the Rubik's Cube. Thank you. And there's people that are doing it blindfolded. Right. There's people doing it in two hands at once. Yeah. On like sub four seconds. Yeah. And it's like you can give me the entire year and say your whole family is going even to more, get pushed off. I'm to- even more bothered than you are because okay. because I was um, a child when it was in, when it came out. Oh, so you had one. Everybody had one. It was like a slinky. It was like a hula hoop. Yeah, everyone had a slinky. Everyone had a slinky. It's like an... You really did play with stickball, didn't you? You had a slinky. I don't think... As a, yeah, we bought them, but as a retro fun thing. Yeah, but- like, <clears throat> check this out. When they came out, um, I was in elementary school, and so it was super fun. And, yeah. And no, for them, not for me. Mm-hmm. But I do remember when it was invented. And the reason it, it, it bothers me so much is because why does it still exist? I want it to be a buried memory of like, remember yeah. that stupid plastic thing yeah. that people used to do those weirdos who knew how to do it no my whole life people still do it like you said now just, they have it like just getting record, crazier. record breakers the, the 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 solving the rubik's cube has gotten simple i uh, oh rubik's, i know rubik's cube when it came out now usually if somebody can do something and i'm not talking about simone biles like i'm not going to get on the the uneven bars but um if, if you could do something, you'll, you know, like a riddle or a trick yeah. or a puzzle. And it's like, let me try it. I can, like, if you can do it, I can do it. Like you meaning yeah. most people. I couldn't do it. You know what? I'm going to propose something. I couldn't do it. I'm going to propose something on this podcast. Next Thursday. I'll never. Right, don't you Thursday, bring it out, please. I don't ever want to see one. You are going to solve it. No, I won't. We're, you have a full week to train. No, I can't. We're going to learn how you to do it. You don't understand. I've had a full 40 years. Guys, no. You. No. Mark my word. I'm putting this clip no. in next week's podcast. No. I'm going to go out today. I'm going to go buy Rubik's Cubes for Dummies. No. Yes. Have confidence. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the Lord. I don't know how to do it. I can't do it. People try you know, to show me you know, how to do you it. Know what's, you know who it said It makes this? you feel bad about you yourself. You know who said the same thing? Who? Peter. What? To walk on water? What? To, I'll, I'll, I'll try walking no, on water. No, to go with Jesus. <laughs> to go with Jesus. No. It's he too said, hard. He said, that's what he said. He said, I can't do it. I'm not your guy. I'm a fisherman. <laughs> And Jesus said, I will make you the fisher of man. I don't know how they do it. You will find out. I'm, I'm telling you. If you look away, I'm, s- I'm going to pull the stickers off and put them back no, on in I, the right order. I am so confident that you can do this. It's crazy. But this is why you shouldn't be confident because I've tried with all my might. That's, that's Fly with dragons. This, if this is not mm-hmm. a, a, a... Can you do it? What? No. But, but, but I, I can do it by it? next Thursday. This is... I if this is it. not... We, we, Something we, about my brain. We always, we always compare spirituality to earthly things yeah and every word i'm hearing you say right now is the same words i hear about people no. and their spiritual walk there's some people they who say like, it's too hard <laughs> some people can do it i can't do it i'm not strong enough spencer there's some things like people like oh i just can't speak a different language or i just can't you know uh it's, it's gonna happen in this life or the next next thursday guys next life next thursday look out she's gonna have 30 minutes to do it and she'll do it in probably 10 I, that's that's a crooked crow promise. And then how will I feel when I can't? <laughs> like dog water. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a. And you're willing to risk that. Yes. Listen, the only time you fail is when you don't try. I tried. No, but not as an adult. Like I tried watching all the Star Wars is when I was a kid. I didn't comprehend it. I can't it. even do. You know the. I learned. Okay, here's my thing about it. I felt the same way about a lot of things. And then there was something that clicked in me. And I'm like, I am a able and smart person. That's what I usually motivate myself and, to and say. And it was with juggling. I'm like, if I just sit down and learn how to do it, not just like try and be like, ah, I can't figure it out. Like really look into how to do it, how it's done. And then guess what? Now I can juggle for no reason except for the fact that I knew I could do it. You know the flat little dumb puzzle like 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 um, Cracker Jack? And it has squares and you have to, eh, 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 You mean eh. from Cracker Barrel? Yeah, wherever. Yeah. Cracker, cracker. 
go like this. Yeah. I can't even do that. You did because you taught me how to do it. Remember you learned? No. You don't have a good memory. Also, you, you need a memory from your Rubik's Cube, I think. You learned how to do it. Really? And you taught all of your children how to do it. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, go on. Go on. Carry my name forward. <laughs> all right, guys. Anyway, that's that's next week. Look out for the Rubik's Cube. But today is not about Rubik's Cube. It should have been. You know what? Too bad it's not one word Wednesday. Because it's walk through, through Thursday. Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? You know the vibes. It is walk through Thursday. The the greatest time of the week. I feel like, yeah, maybe. Wednesday is always like we have to find a word. Friday is like we don't know what to talk about. I feel like Thursday, it's it's in front it of us. It was written for us. It's, it's, <laughs> someone, someone wrote it for us. Yeah. And so if you guys don't know, if you're new here, walk through Thursday this day... It, Walk through Thursday is the day that we open up the Bible. Bible's open. Frank, pay attention. Hold off. <laughs> the Bible's open. Have some respect. Um, we open up the Bible and we pick a verse. And instead of just rifling through it and saying that was a good verse, mm-hmm. we break it down. Yeah. We break it down sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter. Sometimes we, it's longer than others. Sometimes longer than others. Sometimes is that like a little foreshadowing? No, because you said line by line, and I was like, I think we have one sentence today. So, okay. <laughs> so this will be syllable by syllable. Right. Um, and we slow it down. We try to get... There's there's meaning in every word of the Bible. Yes. And so today's the day that we look into that meaning. Without further ado, what topic or what verse are we talking about today? We're talking about Leviticus. Leviticus! Ooh. I know. A lot of controversy came out of Leviticus. A lot. Leviticus 19... 28. Leviticus 19.28. If you haven't heard it about it, you're going to hear about it now. And before we start, any reason you picked this verse? Yes, because okay. um, I was talking to somebody and they said, uh, you know, tattoos are uh, against the Bible. Yeah. And uh, I said, that really? Was our podcast. What? <laughs> Wasn't that our podcast that we talked Sometimes about? Sometimes I talked to myself. <clears throat> and I said, really? And they said, yeah, it's in the Bible. It says don't tattoo uh, ta-ta. Ta-ta. Don't ta-ta. ta-ta so i said let me check it out <laughs> so i checked it out and i see the verse that everyone is referring to it is matthew sorry it's not matthew <laughs> leviticus how dare i leviticus nineteen twenty eight, and it does say do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourselves i am the lord that is the sentence that is the reason that yeah. a lot of people feel very strongly that they're doing God's work by not tattooing or they're doing God's work by by counseling others. If you want to get into heaven, you better not be tattooed because it's in the Bible. Yeah. Um. So why do I see Matthew 15 here? Oh, that's why I got confused. Um. That's just going to be a backup of a reason why maybe we should not put value on... A ticket to heaven is a completely unblemished body. We should not put value on that. Right. Yeah. Okay. I agree. So Leviticus, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Short line. Do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourselves. I am the Lord. Right. Now, what does the cut your bodies for the dead mean? Okay. So that's what I find makes the verse that that's what I find makes the sentence very interesting. Yeah. I think I already have the answer. Go ahead. So for a lot of the stuff in the Bible, guys, um, I, or Old Testament, at least, we why I eat pork is because I have the belief that the Bible was not just meant for all. It, it was not just a it was a remember yesterday we talked about the you need the trifecta. You need yeah. spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Yeah, I think um, the Bible spiritual, mental and physical physical. I think the Bible is a self-help book for all of those things right and so pork is a very hard meat to get right and it can be very um have be filled with parasites and stuff right and it's almost better if you're not preparing it right to not have it at all right and so i think you know if you have a healthy body you can live a spiritual life right now with this i believe it's referring to whatever was happening at the time maybe yeah and so if cutting your body putting tattoos was that sort of at the time who was this like this this ball ball oh right 
where it's like they're praying to him and that's when they're like sacrificing children and stuff right and it was like don't do any of this idolatry was like when someone died the people who worshiped these earthly gods because that's it was not so much like oh you know you you're doing you're not believing in me it was you're basically you're praising the earth the golden calf is a problem because you're saying all hail this thing that is made of the earth and is of the earth and, and you're supposed to be looking up to the heavens and so was this you'd have marks of tattoos and rituals Right. That were earthly rituals. Um, I'll put uh, you, I'll sh- I'll send you uh, some pictures you can put up when you're editing. Okay. That just as an example, or try to think about what was happening in the old, old, old days. There are pictures, and this isn't even biblical, but it's Aboriginal Australians, mm-hmm. and they they have some photographs of them, um, really, really mutilated bodies. That was their culture and tradition. That for life events. Oh. And um, you're not talking just like even, um, you know, people still do scarification or branding. Yeah. This is like huge. Um, they're called something like, ki- 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 I forget what they're called. It's when the scarring bubbles up. Mm, yeah. yeah. And um, they do do it for. <laughs> <Do-do>. <laughs> they, do, they do it for to represent um, your emotional pain and your is yeah. a physical pain. And um, it, it 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 I read a little bit, and it said like if you're if you were a child, they would use like a super sharp knife so that it's more like a scalpel. I guess it would be less painful. But like if you wanted to prove your manhood, you would use like a whole, you know, old uh, rusty ragged spoon. rock. Yeah, ragged rat, rag, a ratchet, <laughs> ragged ragged rock. Um, so that's what I find interesting that it says um, do not. Uh, cut your bodies for the dead that's what it's saying first yeah. it's like setting up the picture um put tattoo marks on yourselves again then you think all right well i'm gonna go with what you're saying verona and or zip miss zippy and i'm go and i'm not well can i get so for the dead so can i get christina's name on my arm because yeah. that's a tattoo for the dead i i don't think it I don't think that's a parallel to make. No, I I, I don't. I, I think really what this is saying is, like I just said earlier, this idea that you can't be fully spiritual if you don't aren't fully physical. And it's saying your body is a blessed thing. It's mm-hmm. a vessel. And don't mutilate it. And now people who make the argument of, oh, tattoos mutilate in your body. But right. I think this is what ta- like is, do not harm your body for something else like you right. should you should always be working on your body and right. keeping it whole and pure to your best of your ability right. so you can go out and be spiritual which is not sort of referring to the tattoos that you get today where right. it's like you're not mutilating yourself right. you're just getting ink put into your skin right um and also i just find is it a message? And it can be anything you want. Like it can be about. anything you want. If <laughs> if you're hearing it and you're saying, "Whoa, this means something to me," yeah, it can be anything that. you want. But again, I feel, and this is interesting because it's Old Testament, where you feel. I feel like New Testament is when, like, Old Testament is full of rules and is full of, um, yeah, you know, punishments. And the New Testament is about love and yeah. the bigger picture. But it's interesting then that, that this is in Leviticus. And I feel it is a message saying um, it's not about like, don't get don't get tied up in like, why would you cut off parts of your body or hurt parts of your body um, for the dead when what are you doing? Like, yeah. you're only here for this amount of time in yeah. this vessel. Um, and then you're going to go to heaven. You're not bringing, you know, the dead person. Um, you're not bringing that gift to them. You're not helping anything. You're yeah. not helping yourself. We're, and I am the Lord. We're all going to be in heaven together. Um, so you're getting too tied up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like earthly. It's like, I don't know what religion this is, but where they have like that week where they literally just give themselves lashings. Right. Like for like a penance. Right. And, and I think it sort of goes along with this verse. It's like, take care of your bodies. Right. Like, and don't be so tormented. Yeah. Don't be so tormented by death. Let the dead bury the dead. For don't, I am here now. Perfect. Don't 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 be so tormented by death that you turn on yourself. Yeah. Um because 
It's not that. It's because yeah, it, it it's becomes, not that terrible. Yeah, and it becomes a, a, a little loss of love in yourself, right? Which like the New Testament, it doesn't really cancel out everything. No, in the Old Testament. it sort of makes it more clear. Like yes, where this is saying, it's telling you, don't mutilate your body, don't don't you know, scar up your body for right. these reasons. And then Jesus comes and says, love yourself. Right. I think they're both saying the same thing. Right. It's just this is like it's a commandment. It's like love yourself. Right. Don't hurt yourself. Your your body is special. We need we, we we need we would love for your body to be whole. Right. And and to live a long life without guilt or self anguish. Right. That you feel the need to do that. And then Jesus says it's 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 sort of not a do this instead, it's a why. Right. Why are we told to not cut ourselves to the dead and so like because your body is special and you need to love yourself the dead are are in heaven living good lives and you should continue to live a good life with that knowledge so the people will have an argument and they'll say no it says it in the bible you can't have tattoos or you know you can't mark yourself you can't cut yourself but you will get your ears pierced yeah okay so the person who has pierced ears and then says you shouldn't have tattoos. Okay, so that's what happens. And that's where the biblical debate comes in. Yeah. That's where people spending their whole lives having these discussions. When you pierce your ear, you cut your skin. Yeah. And you make a permanent hole in it. And it's like, well, that's nothing wrong with that. And so then that becomes the the, the sliding scale of what people will do. So you'll have, um, you, you might have, I don't know how strict Muslims are. I know they can't get tattoos. But uh, if we talked about the Sikhs before, yeah. they can't. They can't cut their hair. A hair. They can't. Can they cut their nails? Well, I I don't know. Who knows? Anyway. um, And then you have middle ground, which like I said, maybe you have your ears pierced, but you don't have tattoos. And then you have people all the way here who have gauges and piercings and tattoos and scarification and shaved heads. Um, And then you think, well, what's right? What's right? What's right? I'll tell you what's right. Well, Jesus said it first. <laughs> now you're going to tell us. beat me to the punch. You're going to tell us what Jesus said. Am I reading the whole thing? No, but I, I mean, it's up to you. It's a long, it goes for another yeah, page. Um, but I mean, it's just the gist of pe- the apostles asking him. Oh, uh, so it's sort of talking about the hypocrisies of this argument. What should we do? The, 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 the um, scholars at the time who did always debate everything mm. were debating Jesus and saying, um, we see that your followers don't wash their hands before they eat or they're not doing a ritual or they're they're unclean. Yeah. How can you debate that? Yeah. And and so this is, you know, Jesus, I'm, I'm skipping through. This is when he's talking to the Pharisees and mm-hmm. I believe he walked in with some of his shoes on and, and it's like, yeah. then he brings up to them, he's like, but you don't wash your hands before they eat? No. No, wait. They, they, accused they, they, his accused people. Hi, they accused his people. Right. And then they were like, so therefore, and then he's like, okay. Yeah, okay. And he sort of put an end to it, um, saying, it's not, it's not what this is about. And I'll just read this part. Okay. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. And I think that's a, a pretty, pretty sums it up. So if you look at the actual verse that we're looking at, which is Levit- Leviticus, that's a human rule. Yeah. Don't, don't cut your body. Don't tattoo your body. Uh, for these reasons. Yeah. So you get stuck on that human rule. Yeah. Jesus comes along and says, it's not about the human rule. It doesn't yeah. matter what you're doing to your body or putting in your body. It, it's mattering what's coming out. Yeah. I, th- I think to sum it up. So this is sort of twofold. Um, Jesus sort of said, your, your human body is not worth anything. <laughs> <laughs> your human body is not worth porn. That's when someone died. It was like, let the dead bury the yeah. dead. The soul is what matters. It's not there anymore. So it's twofold in the sense that you can get tattoos. You're you're not pulling yourself away spiritually. It's it's your soul that matters. Your soul cannot be tarnished. But in the the opposite end is it's also um, the body's not important in your spiritual journey. Right. So it's important to keep it healthy. And so you don't want to hurt your body. Well, this is saying. But also, you don't want to worship your body right. too much. Right. So with tattoos, I- I'm pro tattoos. I'm not getting any because I'm indecisive on if I- if I would ever like something a year later. But don't put too much value on the human body on both right. sides. Like, like, right. It, so to tattoo yourself up, if you enjoy it, it's something you like. I th- I think this looks nice. This is symbolic to me. 
that's great but you don't want to put too much where it's like you start being like your main focus is how your outward body body's looking and not right. worried about how your soul is looking so but but, but balance <laughs> did someone say did he... balance are we back to that <laughs> Two days in a row. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Always going to talk about balance. But guys, that's walk through Thursday. Okay. Um, let us know down in the comments what you think. If you think um, Christians and Jewish people should be able to get tattoos. If you think they don't. If you say, you know what, Spencer and Zippy, <laughs> you're talking a lot of nonsense. You're, you're, you're taking the Bible and you're twisting it. If you think that, let us know and we can have a little discussion where we, you comment and we don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> We're busy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're practicing our Rubik's Cubes. That was a busy time. Anyhow, guys, we'll be back tomorrow for Fun Friday. Um, look forward to that, but also look forward to next week, next Thursday. Some of the specials happen. This chair will it be empty. It looks like a Rubik's Cube today. This chair will be empty. All right, guys. Peace, love, and prosperity. Go out and get tattoos. Get Croak and Crow. Cross your collarbones. Peace. Oops. I just unscrewed this.